let's create our ServiceNow community profile. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both on the career side and the learning and education side. In today's video, I am continuing my journey through the ServiceNow career journey and specifically the associate system administrator level of that journey. I'm on my way to becoming a certified technical architect. And I'm taking advantage of every resource that ServiceNow has to offer. So here we are. This is just a snapshot of the associate system administrator journey. And you can enroll by going to now learning. I have a whole video on how to access the career journey. And as we scroll down, you can see I'm enrolled. This will take about three days and 10 hours to complete in total. It all depends on your familiarity with the concepts and how quickly you get through the activities. Currently, I am on activity number three, and this is an optional one, but I think taking advantage of becoming part of the community is really important. Now, even though it says complete, I have not completed it. I think I just clicked on it and it gave me that value. But let's go ahead and actually do this work together and I'm gonna update my community profile. So let's click on the complete button or get started. And here it is, it says, create a ServiceNow community profile. So join the community, they have it highlighted there. So it says, if you are an existing community user, select login. If you are a new user, select join the community. Now, what I will tell you is that ServiceNow has like a single sign-on feature. So whatever profile you create, maybe through Now Learning or maybe through ServiceNow Impact or any of the other pages, you can use that same login here. You don't have to create multiple different logins. And then once you're in, any site that you visit should automatically recognize you and have you signed in. Let's explore this process of creating an account or creating a profile. Assuming that you're new, you would click on join the community. If you see that option, go ahead and click on it and then select create an account. You'll enter an email address and continue. So it says, welcome back, Xavier Wharton one. That's who I am in the system. And it says you're ready to thrive, learn, share, and connect with others. And you're not alone. Thank you, ServiceNow. So and the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and click on the profile here. So let's click on that. And then I'll select my profile. All right, so this part of the video comes with some redactions because I can't give you all of my business. But that said, basically when you land on this page, that avatar in blue should be replaced by your face. So people know who you are and that's what we're going to do today. And then you have a little bio. So I don't know why I wrote this in third person. Somebody told me to do that on the internet and I did it, but it sounds a little pretentious when I read it now, but it says Xavier is an aspiring IT professional committed to learning how to become more effective at support. Oh, good. I didn't even write that support users, teams, and <laughs> organizations when it comes to delivering IT services. So a couple of things on my agenda item today, which I will review and finish by the end of this video. Number one is going to be to update my profile avatar with a face, my face, and then update my bio so that it speaks a little bit more to what it is that I'm working towards, who I am and allow people to get to know me. And here you can see like when I started, when I got active with the platform, September 13th, 2021, this is about right. I have no post, no solutions. <laughs> I have one helpful given and zero helpfuls received. So I, I have a long way to go, but these are badges that you can get for different, I guess, different accomplishments within the community. And then my recent notifications. So I got Terra Explorer level, and I'm not sure what that means. Mega Explorer four weeks ago, and I ranked up to Kilo Explorer. Or actually, I'm sorry. So Terra Explorer is where I'm at now, 33 minutes ago. And then these are some private stats that you'll accumulate. So how many page views, messages read, topics started, replies, articles read, all that good stuff. So I wonder if I can share part of my own journey here in written form. I'm doing that currently on LinkedIn a little bit, but I think it'd be helpful to keep it in the ecosystem here. I do have a draft. I don't know what this was about. I can't even remember. Oh yeah, the simulator. I think I was trying to pass the simulator activity and try to get an answer. <laughs> I'm sure that's against community guidelines, but nonetheless, this is what you can see on the back end. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and update a few things shortly. If you scroll down, you can actually see like when you logged 
or what device you last logged in from, I think from the IP. So there's some information there as well. So this is what it looks like. All right, so now that we are back here, again, I'm gonna edit my profile and I'm gonna do so by clicking on Manage Profile. So if you are updating your information, you can follow along with me. Okay, so anything you put here, you can determine what's displayed publicly for the rest of the world to see. I'm going to first start by updating my avatar here. So I'm gonna change it from this guy to an actual face of mine. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So this is my everything photo, it's my LinkedIn, it's my thumbnail, quick creation photo, and now it's part of ServiceNow. And then here I'm gonna add my LinkedIn. So I'll go ahead and post that on here and update that as well so people can connect with me on LinkedIn. All right, so the cool thing is you can toggle specific things on and off if you want them public. So I'll go ahead and toggle this on to display. And I can do the same thing with my image and everything else, which I will do shortly. The last thing is I wanna change this bio a little bit. So I'm going to make some changes on this and update that for my profile. All right, so I changed my bio and it says, I'm a dedicated IT professional who empowers users, teams, and organizations through exceptional IT services. My passion lies in continuously enhancing my skills to become an expert in delivering adequate support. I think that about sums me up. So I'm gonna go ahead and save all this and then see what the final result looks like. So I guess one out of two is not bad. <laughs> my profile picture did not update and I'm not sure why, but I'll contact ServiceNow's help support for that. So my bio did transfer over and I was able to make certain things public. So that's really good. Again, I'll chalk this up as a win. I'll keep playing around the community. Sometimes there's a Saturday patch or maintenance window. So I'm just gonna chalk it up to that. But if you got farther than I did and you're able to get a picture up, share your face with the world, go ahead and start posting, get engaged with the community and Thank you for watching. As always, my name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier. And remember, don't be hard on yourself. Just work hard on yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.